What's good, my nigga? Hey, well, God, what's up? What up? <laughs> it's my pleasure to have you on the show, my nigga. I've been a um, fan a long, long time. I'm pretty sure you've heard me ranting about half a mil for years. Yeah, no. Nah, my, my favorite MC. Um, for those who don't know you, why don't you give, give them um, an introduction, tell them who you are, give them a little bit about your background. Oh, my man, to the world, to the gully world. It's the new king, Prince Ali Vegas. Um, signed to Columbia since a baby. You know, um, comparison to, you know, your favorites. Wrote for most of your favorites. You know, we here. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Before we get started, I have to ask you this. Didn't I see you in one of those, um, wasn't you in like a blaze battle or some shit before? Yeah, that was about... <laughs> Like nine, yeah, like in like ninety, like nine nine two thousand late time. I remember seeing you on some type. What that was on MTV? Nah, that was actually on. Um, it could have. I think I thought it would have been on V. They were saying it was gonna be on like VH1 or whatever, but it might have been. Might have been your yeah, MTV. I think it was MTV. Yeah, I think it was. What KRS was hosting. Yeah, yeah, it was you and somebody else. A couple guys on there. Uh, yeah. Remember. Yeah. Shells. Yeah, it was shell. It was a, it was a few of us. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that was that was a crazy joint because um, so we were supposed to. It was crazy because we were supposed to be battling for an expedition. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's like, but then when we get there, they like, oh now y'all battling. Oh, this the Averex is the prize. I was like, what? They had y'all battling for a leather. I was like, I'm out. I was like, I'm doing, I'm doing Las Vegas, to, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, why well, I'm a battle for Averex and I got an Averex contract, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I was like, nah, I'm out. But then um, my manager at the time, and, and then Tony Pope was like, you know, because it was, we was um, bonded by contract, you know what I mean? Just to give the TV, to give the TV, um, the TV shot. Like, all I had to do was do it. Yeah. So I was like to get the appearance on TV. So all I had to do was appear on TV. That's why when I went on stage, I just started rhyming to the crowd. I was like, yeah, I ain't doing this for no level y'all right. fucking up. You, you, at that point, you were already in on mixtapes and the magazines. Cause I yeah. remember when, when I seen you on, on, I'm like, damn, he popping. Like, why is he on here? No, that's, <laughs> it was cause I'm like a free truck. Why not? You know what I mean? I was like, all right, I'm gonna go get a free truck. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I was like, all right, go get a free truck, whatever. So after that, once we got there and they was like, it was going to be an Averex, I was like, I'm out. I left. I was I was about to leave. I'm like, I got to be in Las Vegas in a few hours. And How did you meet the track masters? Um, well, my man, Panama P.I., guy from my hood, you know what I mean? So they, mm -hmm. and him and Uncle Hev, rest in peace to Uncle Hev, they were shooting a documentary on the avenue. And then when I was up there, they stopped me. You know what I mean? It was like, let me hear something. I was like, all right, whatever. So I, I started rhyming. And then my man, D.O., Damian Blyden, was like, oh, meet, 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 meet me in Manhattan tomorrow. At, meet me in, at Columbia. <laughs> Somebody bring him to Columbia Records tomorrow. And then, okay. And then that was it. The next day, we went to Trackmasters. Kick Capri was dropping off the beat. Kid Capri was dropping off the beat for Esco that wound up being the Jay-Z beat. It's like that. And then I just I just freestyled over that joint for like like 30 minutes and that was it. They wouldn't let me leave the city. Okay. Did this did this begin the Esco comparisons? I mean that was the crazy part was it it that happened. I mean that that happened before I even that happened when I was since like nine years old, you know what I'm saying? And then like nine, ten, it just kept going from Rakim to then it was just Nas. Like people didn't even believe that. Like like that I was, you know what I mean? My man Jaboga used to be like, my man Jaboga used to be like, yo, listen to this joint, because we used to make the tapes, you know, put the tissue in the tapes, you know what I mean? So we used to right. make the tapes. And my man Boga would play them and everybody be like, yo, who that? That's that's that new Nas joint. And my man Vogel was like, nah, nah, that's that's big, you know what I mean? And most people couldn't believe it. So but then once that happened, like once that once there, but that's when like the industry comparison, yeah, when everybody was like, but Esco was there. Like Esco was 
there when I got one. How much older than you is he? Um, he probably he probably got me by a good ten. Everybody, most of them got me by a good ten years. At ten least. years. Okay. When 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 you started to get the comparisons, or when he was mentioned, did you start? Did you aspire to be that? I mean, also, geez, it don't sound bad if somebody's calling me Michael Jordan in the hood and shit. I might, or they calling me LeBron James and I'm a high school basketball player. I might start trying to feed that. I might start trying to be that. But you know, I mean, that's like that's like a compliment. That's not a diss. No, that, I mean, whenever you know, whenever you compare to the greats, but the crazy part about it, I think it was more about. It was just more about the surroundings like like around like I'm around the same elements that he around like the same like the same like gangsters that he was around you know what I mean like where it was that type of environment of like oh, okay but no nah, it was more it was more I didn't even know who it was I didn't even know who he was you know what I'm saying they introduced me to him like my man Mel my man Mel showed me like a tape like yo look this is who they comparing you to Cause I'm is the thing about it was, and it's like I told him I was like, nah, I was more listening to my mom's had me listening to like Rakim, so like that's my favorite MC. It's Rakim and Biggie. Right. Those are my top two rappers ever. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, so it was more of like, I guess being compared to somebody, but you watching the person that you learning from the same person they learning from. I, I I I once you said the Rock Him thing, I'm like, okay, well y'all were both probably probably inspired by the same person. Yeah, and that's what it was. But then like, but I'm like, when I started, I started. You know what I mean, like, I always tell people like, like don't ever get it twisted. Like he like, no, nobody they know they can't play with that boy. You know what I'm saying? But that's not who I like. I was more listening to like Rock Him and like Dio and them would always say he listening to two, he listening to who he listened to. You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, let's get to the to the good part, the good stuff. <laughs> the good stuff. All right. First off, um, explain to me, explain to me your relationship with Lamar Odom. Did y'all have a relationship at a point in time? Yeah, no, nah, that's like that's that's blood. You know what I mean? Like he can never do no wrong. You know what I'm saying? Even when he do wrong, you know what I'm saying? Right. So we had to. So what it was was he was on the Clippers. You know what I'm saying? And I was like. And he always wanted to be, he always wanted to be in music since day, you know what I mean? Since day one, he loved music, you know what I mean? Okay. So I would always, that's why in my, like, my first EPK, all of them is there, you know what I'm saying? Like, he did because I'm, like, showing him, like, yo, look, here, this is this person in music, this is that person, you know what I'm saying? He finally got, when he finally was able to do it, you know what I mean, and, and move to L.A., and when he was and finally when he became a Laker, he was like, "Yo, I want to do this music thing," and I was like, "All right, let's let's do a label then." So then, like, I you know, I came up with the label Rich Soil, you know what I mean? And then that was I mean that was it, you know. And then we was making moves, but it's the thing about you know what happens is like me is like if it's not right, I don't rock with it. I don't care who you are. Where you from? If I don't care how much money you got, if you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what you're doing. Right. Okay. Um, the reason why I asked you that, I'd never read that anywhere. I heard that mm -hmm. on a. You know where I heard that, right? <laughs> All right. I mean, I heard that on a diss track when y'all was going through it, and I, I. So I'm naturally gonna go to that. Oh no. The first the, the, the first time that I heard um, your name associated with Lamar Odom was Stack Bundle saying, when I met you with L. Odom. So tell me about this first time you and Stack Bundles met with Lamar Odom. It, was it truth to that? Nah, I, I knew Stack. I knew Stack before then. You know? Okay. I knew Stack. I, I never, the crazy part about it, I didn't meet Stack with L to later on, you know what I'm saying? Like, like when me, Stack, and L met, when me, Stack, and L was in the same room, that was when we was putting a, a mixtape together. Like we was, the, we was, we was put, we was putting the crew together. It was me, Sleep, Bino, and Stack. Okay. And and it's like, and when we did that, 
we did about like mm, we did like a few joints because this was like before the unit. This was before any groups had formed. But before Riot Squad, before anything. Yeah, this before any groups had formed. You know what I'm saying? So is this is this like known? Is this common knowledge? Do people know that you and Stacks had music together, or this just this some exclusive dribble for me? This is I mean only one that only one that I know is like Hollywood Chuck and Bino. You know what I'm saying? Like okay, and, and Sleep like. Those who was there know, like Hollywood Chuck know. Sure, that's why he had me on. That's why he had me on me and Stack Bundles Pops Facetime because he letting them know, like, nah, it ain't. That's just media, like them, it, them. You know what I mean? That's why anything that me and him had never went past music. Right. Everybody else, when he had, they had problems. That it always went past music. Me and him, it ain't ever go past music. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so oh, okay, so y'all y'all do have music together. That's that. I'm glad that you revealed that over here. I need that exclusive shit. Moving right along, <laughs> um, when when um, so were y'all engaged in an actual conflict lyrically, or like was it a back and forth? Because I'm only aware of what I seen on Smack, the Smack video. Yeah, no. See what happened was this. Him and him and my man Victor Moon had a problem. You know what I'm saying? And like, I remember. Yeah, okay. And anybody that know me know that, whatever like, we have a conversation, it goes, it go into the booth. Like whatever I rhyme about, like they know that's that's me. You know what I mean? Pinpoint everything I do when in my rhyme, whatever. So, I'm telling. So when him and Vic got the problem, I'm telling Vic, I'm like, I'm like, listen, don't go to war. You know what I'm saying? Don't go to war unless you got your money right. And right. Like, Look, vague. All my bundles are snacks. So I just took that into the joint, and then like when you listen to that song, it's just that one part, and then I'm and then I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? So you fi so you fired first? No, nah, not really. You know what I mean? It's the, it was more stuff that, you know, you hear the chirping. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You hear the you hear the chirping. You know what I mean? And I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. It's friendly competition. I ain't worried about it. Whatever. So then I'm just like, all right, cool, but let me. Let's see where it's at. You know what I mean? Let's see where it's at. Cause I'm the one. You know what I mean? Everybody, like, they all, all of them know that. Like, I'm the one. I'm the one that went to. At that time, everybody knew you too. They, yeah, they know that. You know what I mean? That you got to come. You know what I mean? You gonna come through me? I done battled everybody in Queens. Okay. You know okay. I mean? Like now, okay. So <laughs> that um that outburst on Smack that was provoked. Nah, it was it was already coming. You know what I'm saying? It was, coming. it was already coming. It was just more like, like you know how you only see like what the you only like you only see what the what the like what the media show you. Yeah. You know what I mean, so it's not like they don't see what's they don't see that it's coming. I'm the one that see. It. Everybody else know it's coming. You know what I mean? Because it's it's the chirping back and forth. You know what I'm saying about? But it's friendly. It was friendly. You know what I mean, friendly conversations. So what where were you at when um? Where were you at when um when you first seen it? What oh the smack joint? Look, you want me to split? <laughs> uh yeah, where was you at when you first seen that shit? I don't even where was I? I probably I don't, I don't, the crazy part, <laughs> you're, huh? you're, you're a part of history. You're a part of one of the most legendary outbursts on the history of Smack D V D. Yeah, I don't even know like because my thing is when I, soon as I, like me, I react soon as somebody tell me that it's happening. So I don't right. even think, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even think I'll, like, even, like, saw it. I know I just heard it, you know? Yeah. I mean? I, my people's played, they're like, like okay, you know what I'm saying? He tried like, to tear your head off. He tried to tear your head off. But that God was, Damn! That was it, you know what's so crazy. It was that was like light. That was even that wasn't even like because the 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 assault that like the assault that was like that was coming. It was just like niggas was like nah, don't even don't even don't even do it. You know what I'm saying? Like because it was like so then me and just I was like I asked him like I have, I have, what you want like what you want to do like this is what's you know what I mean? Like, like we could WWF it or what you want to do? Like before I, because I'm like, I, you know me, like from the apology, people know, like I, when I go, I go to, 
I go to crush. Like so, what happened? What happened after that? Did it continue on? Cause we on the DVD circuit at the time. Did you go get on somebody else DVD uh, and fire back? Which was customary at the time. A retaliation would take place on a DVD. Yeah, if you know, it wasn't no retaliation. I ain't. Nah, I don't recall hearing nothing ever. Nah, I didn't. Nah, I didn't because the retaliation that was, like the retaliation that was coming was like. It wasn't going, it, it was just going, it was, that was going to be it. You know what I mean? So it was like. I, I, that was my first time ever hearing him or seeing him. I had just got out of jail. I think that was my first smack. Was that like volume two or some shit like that? Like that was an early one. That was an early, that was an early, that was an early smack. You know what I mean? But I knew, but like I said, I knew it was coming. As soon as he signed, like as soon as he signed with Clue and him, I knew that was coming. You know, because okay. we had that talk of like, yo, son, you, you going, you going to play for them. So I know, know what I mean, like, I mean, you know what it <laughs> is. Yeah, like. Explain to me meeting half a mil for the first time. Who put y'all together? Uh, hold on, before you say anything, you were selected to be in the presence of the God MC. I know a lot of niggas have been called the God MC, but you know. You 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 know you was in there with him, and I'm pretty sure you listened to Fires in Hell a thousand times. We know that don't nobody rhyme like that, and you was able to get on there and just trade darts with him like a pugilist, and you didn't get smoked. You was just I I, I feel that a lot of niggas was ducking him. You know what I mean? A lot of people who had maybe similarities and criteria topics you would naturally think that they would do songs together. And I feel that people was, people was, people, well, that's what people, happened, was, that's avoiding. What people was avoiding him. People was avoiding him. People, people, they, they duck title fights. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people duck title fights, you know what I mean? Well, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Bug, what's up, my nigga? Hit me in the DM, man. Let me highlight you and shit. That's one of my cats from the penitentiary and shit. But uh, yeah, who uh, who put y'all together? Tell me uh, what it was like meeting him for the first time. Well, I mean, we was um, he had asked he had he had asked my man Dio to bring me. He asked my man at the time Dio to bring me to a session. You know what I'm saying? Because because I knew A and them since I was a kid. Like you know what I mean? P I A like A Z and I'm like I knew them since I was a kid. So A okay. like he used to always hear about me because A used to always talk about me. You know what I'm saying? So. When he finally got a chance to have somebody that know me, he was like, yo, he told Dio to bring me through. So when I came through, he was like, he like, yo, Vague, like I heard so much about you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, so he got the joint. They, they playing the joint. So he like, um, we got to do a record. So he like, when, you know what I mean? What's your schedule looking like? I'm like, I'm free now. <laughs> like, and that was the, on site. It was on site. That's when we did the joint on site. Tough guy on site. Man, <laughs> so who who went in the booth first? What happened was when they was playing the beat. When they was yeah. playing the beat, I was just I just started flowing to it, and he was like, and then you know what I mean. My man Punch was like the producer. He was like, oh y'all gotta go in there. He like you gotta come on. Like we just we rhyming outside the booth. If if, yeah. if we had to, if we had like the internet was like it was back then, it probably would have been two. It would probably would have been two different tough guys. It would have been the the pre the pre tough guy and then the tough guy when we went in the booth because we was just we was just flowing back and forth. Hold on, booth. hold on. So so in the hallway, y'all had already unleashed some darts and they just got away. Yeah, we already was, and that's when they was like, whoa, whoa, just get, get you know what I mean, go in. Go school. now. And then we right. when we went in there and was just like, so who went in first? Um, I think I, I I probably went in first. I probably went in there first, cause I, that's so, me. Like I'm just on site. <laughs> okay, so um, he sets the song off. Mm -hmm. When you first hear his verse, six million ways to die. Which way you want? <laughs> yeah, we was, cause we already, cause you know the crazy part is I told I was I told him like. I told him like, no, you got to keep that. Like we said that outside, you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, nah. Oh, he was nah. that was a throwaway. And I told him like, nah, you got to start the song. You got to start the joint off. And right. Was, like, and that's why he always. That's why. That's why we became so cool. He always respected like, 
Cause he like, yo, you young, so young, but you know, you put songs like I was putting, I was the one putting the songs together. So it was like, no, you, this is how you got to start it. You know what I mean? And you wrote the hook for Tough Guy. Yeah, that was me. No doubt, no doubt. Who produced that? I, um, this Punch. That's what I'm saying. It was a producer Punch. You know what I mean? Dread. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he did that joint. I just, I just interviewed Ann Pacino. He a legend from the Midwest. He from Akron, Ohio. Put in a lot of work in the Bay Area and shit. And I told him half a mil was my favorite MC. And he starts reciting the um the verse about the player have them all running with one gator yeah, on. I'm, yo, I'm telling you, like, he was just, he was just, you know what I mean? He was just different. And the crazy part about it was, what, what, and the one thing I learned, uh, the one thing of the many things that I learned from him was it was like, you could always, you could be you on any, you could be you on any track. Like, like what I'm saying is like, he did tracks that people wouldn't even think he would do. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, like up tempo tracks, like fast speeding tracks, rhyming fast, what you know what I mean? And he still stayed him on it, you know what I mean? And it was like, it was crazy. Like my 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 upbringing him, was, was my upbringing was crazy young. I I remember we had the show, one of my first shows in in Brooklyn. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? He brought me out to to we had a show in Brooklyn. He brought me out to do the tough guy joint. Y'all did it live before. Oof. And BK, it was like I ain't like yo this thing. Like, this one it was, you know back then it was crazy. So like, hey yo, half a mil. They got cat and will trapped in jail. They got out, mad concealed I, cracked and still inside the black deville. Somebody crazy. had to squeal. So hit a shotty in the hit list. Do what you want to the yeah, informer. Yeah, Just make sure you body the witness. Call him the Don of Luck. He rode around in the armor truck. <laughs> How old was you when you wrote that shit? Then I was probably like, man, I was probably 14, 15 right there. We was probably, yeah, I was a baby right there. I could tell that um, when Half came back on, mm -hmm. you charged him up. You had him charged up. Yeah, because we was... Fucking done bomb him up. <laughs> Buddy's like, are ready for the garbage truck. <laughs> Bulletproof five, I sprayed through the glass. It's hard to duck. We monsters or what? <laughs> yeah. And right, and right there is when, right there, is, that's when we had formed TBS. You know what I'm saying? Huh? That's when we had formed TBS. We, cause we, that's when we started making. We made like about another four or five tracks that night. You know what I mean? We the. That so what all y'all got together? Y'all got crazy chemistry, man. Like y'all. My nigga, yeah, you just have black, no idea, black, man. Black and mind you, mind you, this shit, this CD came out in what, 99? Yeah, 99. With that warlord, yeah, 99. I was, I was going to, I was in college. I had that shit in, uh, just, man. Yeah, because it was, we did, we, we did, because we did, we was, we was the black sopranos. So we did, we did a joint called Soprano Style. We did a few joints. That was the, the, the Soprano Style was the joint was, um, um, no, 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 that we had, we did a joint where it was crazy. The hood joint was crazy. Everybody was going crazy, and, and BK was stupid. Like, right, like that. What was, was uh, what was it like? You know, you know, just being around him. I know you was a lot younger. What type of philosophies did he have, man? Like when I'm listening to Fires of Hell and shit like that, and I'm listening to these different songs, um, Fires of Hell. He rapped about war over water. Yeah, <laughs> he was just like, yes, he was. Well, he, he was you seeing this shit now in this pandemic, yo? I'm on live. Come through. Yeah. Yeah. The crazy part was like, the, cause he's like the conversations that we had was even more. It was even crazy, you know what I mean? Because, and that's why he took, that's why it was even more, he took even more liking to me because he could conversate with me. Like he couldn't conversate with everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Because it was like, you could see him going over their heads. Even when he would, even yeah. when he would conversate with Esco, it was like, he, you could see like, 
You know, <laughs> you just over that. <laughs> so I knew. Me, yeah, so when me and him, you know what I mean? Like when me and him would build and then like like I would even show him like so like I'll bring like documentaries and stuff because my as I said, like one of my mentors, you know what I mean, a person that was it lived at the end of my block, Mr. Butchie was Malcolm X bodyguard, you know what I mean? So I would see like you know what I mean, like I would see like Malcolm and all that like stuff that wasn't even off the rise, you know what I'm saying? And was mm. learning ways. So when we would so when we would chop it up, when we would chop it up, it would be like, like, oh shit. He'd be like, he'd be looking like, so wherever I was at, he like, I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? Wherever I'm at. Like, I remember one time he had the show, he had the show in Philly and he was like, nah, I'm coming. And it was, I mean, this one we had a pouring rainstorm, right? So he, he pull up, <laughs> he pull up, he had one, he, I mean, the windshield joint, you know, the Benz joint when they had the one windshield joint. You know what I mean? The one windshield yeah. wiper. You know what I'm yeah. That yeah. joint wasn't working. So I say, yo, he pulled up and said, yo, so how you get through the rainstorm? He like, I had the towel outside the window the whole way just hit. <laughs> That's a true story. He was like, I'm out the window with the joint. Like, <laughs> But dedicated. Yeah, it was no it was the dedication that he had was unbelievable. You know what I mean? So um I believe the half a mil was one of the first guys to start writing these lyrics to just have you like, is he allowed to do that shit? Like th the first time I heard the Hummer with the flying saucer engine. Come on. Is this allowed? <laughs> is this kind of shit allowed? <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. Like he was just like, because you know what it was. He was just he was he was like the perfect. He was the perfect, like Brooklyn MC, because what it was was you could hear, like when when he rhyming like that, it's like all right, you had a like a Queens influence, but but you could hear the Biggie when he when he rhymed, you could hear the Biggie influence just because where it's like. Like like you said, smack my whiz, look out. Like bond the rust, front niggas, they try to conquer us. They mad cause we hop out of bags and hop on the bus. Bitches who find the bus. You see what I'm saying? Like you could hear the and he always that's why we spoke. That's why it was always crazy where he be like he like, damn, son, we had the two favorite MCs where I came in Biggie. It was like and that's what it was. So we just always and he the reason why I show love to everybody today is because like anybody that that know your tell, like that's how like, what, like I said when when stacking them when when L like yo Chuck Hollywood Chuck asks L like yo would Vague do a mixtape with you know what I mean I'm like yeah whatever let's do it you know what I mean I don't care about I don't care about none of that other shit like right. put in the work you know what I'm saying so that's how I am because that's what half did to me like whenever he was on tour whatever he got whatever was on his plate. It was I was welcome to it, you know what I'm saying? And that right there is always that's why when he passed out, like everybody always be like Vague was the only one that came to the funeral. I was like, because I, I wasn't I heard about that. that. I wasn't gonna miss that for the world, you know what I'm saying? All right. Um damn. So y'all y'all did perform that shit in different cities and shit. That's crazy. Did they have y'all got uh any footage of that shit? Man, I mean, it would probably be on his like his side, you know what I'm saying? Like where somebody would have to, you know what I mean, have that because we was on it was, you know what I mean? It was his, it was his, it was his road tour, you know what I'm saying? Right. By the time, by the time I got to my, by the time it was time for me to be like, like road tour, freezing up. You got me. What you said? I you said, buffered a little bit. I said by the time it was like the time it was like me on tour, it was already, you know what I'm saying? He was already gone, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, man. Did you uh did you get a chance to shop with him? You know, like go to buy clothes and shit? Yeah, we used to it was you know like Tams, Ava Rex, and then we'll look at like Versace, you know what I mean? Because he was just like he was just on it was more like it was like Intel, you know what I mean? Like yo look, like yo vague, how these frames look. And I'm like, yo, I'm like, nah, they, that's, that's what it is. You know what I mean? I'm like, nah. <laughs> I'm, 
I'm like, I, I was one time we went and I was like, I was like, nah, man. He said, what's wrong? I said, they don't match the, it don't match the gold in the Versace shirt. How you gonna wear the frames? They don't match the gold in the Versace shirt. So, right. So he was like, he called, you know what I mean? He called, he called home, he's like, I need the gold, I need something to match right here. Match the match the gold in the Versace shirt. And it was like just a little thing, because the Versace shirt had the colors in it though. You know what I mean? It wasn't yeah. just the so it had the colors, but it was just like the gold. I said, if you get the right frames, you're gonna kill it. And when he did it, he got the right frames. And that's when he did the joint. We we came, we was at Yale. We was at Yale College. Yale, the Ivy League joint. Yeah, we performed at Yale. Y'all rip Yale down. Oh you and man. I <laughs> Ivy League. <laughs> he said they took a page out of his book and built Princeton University. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We was on the joint going crazy. <laughs> we was going crazy. It was like, and he was just like, damn. So I was just screaming out. They were saying, yeah. So I was just screaming out, yeah, ill. Yeah, ill. I kept saying, yeah, ill. He was like, fake, how you think that fast? I was like, that's just how my mind. So he always would call me. Right. He always would call me the microchip kid. He'd be like, "Yo, you a microchip kid, man!" Like you think? Oh, he used to rap about the mic that's microchip. Like that. Microchip kids, we most dominant. The most dominant. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what he was talking about. He was talking about me on that joint. That's why he's like, he's like, "Yo, the microchip kids, we most dominant." <laughs> no doubt. Damn, man. The shit that he was writing. Did he tell you what books he was inspired by? I know that he was a he he had to have been a devout five percenter, right? Yeah, he was. I mean, he was. But you know, it's so crazy. He he studied it all, and that's one thing that I learned from Mister Butchie, and that he told me too. It was like study it all, and that's what made him so ill. Was because he like nah, I ain't just gonna read. I ain't just gonna be a reader of of the Quran without studying the Torah. You know what I mean? So or, or studying mm -hmm. the Bible so that way when I talk, you know what I mean? I'm speaking from I'm speaking from dominance of like, no, I know your I know your game plan. You know what I mean? It's like when LeBron be like, Y'all don't got that play in y'all playbook, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like like I've read uh when I, I was I was locked up and um I was in a hole one time and they only gave you like Bibles and shit to read, so I had to read this they, the Bible that they was passing out was called the English Contemporary Version, so it didn't have that um, old English speaking like ye and all. It wasn't. <laughs> it read like a regular novel and shit, basically and shit. So I'm reading through. I think it might have been Revelations or some shit. And the shit that I'm reading, I'm like, man, I heard this shit before. <laughs> <laughs> and it was half. It was half. No. It was half talking about brimstone and all kind of shit like that. <laughs> like it was, That's how we would do it because we like, it was just because he was just like, like, damn, like I was passing out like the book Power. You know what I mean? Like I was, I was the baby passing that out. Like I gave him that book. You know what I mean? And then I sent it. I sent the transcripts. I sent some to the, like a lot of cats in jail. Like I was sending them the power book. You know what I mean? And he was just like, he was just after read after he read it. He was just like, man, like because it was just like you already see when somebody's already practicing something, but yeah. when they see it, you know what I mean? When they see it written, it's kind of like it, it. It amazed him because he was like, you know what? Because he knew where we, we would take like information like that, what we would do with it, with the information that we already, already holding, you know what I'm saying? And that's right. was so crazy. Why was he so big on, you know, like the, theology and religion based rhymes and shit? Because it was just the, like the way, like the way we always discuss seeing the world was that you able to see, you, you able to, know you able through through those teachings you able to know how a person is gonna move. So when it's like when you know when you know like the normal is the normal and then you take stuff and there like make it theoretically you know what I mean possible like we 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 in the studio while beats is playing discussing physics. You know what I mean? Like the laws of physics of saying like you know what if I <laughs> move my body at a third degree angle 
then the, the, the microphone is only going to be able to pick up. Like, we, that's how we breaking down music, me and him. Like, yeah. That's what I'm saying. He couldn't have that conversation with everybody. So when he talking that, when he talking to the rest of them, that's why he was kind of like, when he when it came to the firm time, he was kind of like an mm -hmm. outcast, mm -hmm. really, because he was too. They they couldn't really handle him being around too much because he made, you know, when intelligence speak to smart people, you really see what you know. What I mean, like a person could be smart, but when an intelligent person speak to a smart person, that person really be like, uh, yeah. No, nah, no doubt. <laughs> Were you around him? Were y'all still, you know, tight during during the uh, the recording of some niggas? Yeah, like we ain't like that was off. To, like we ain't ever stopped. You know what I mean? Like so, you was around when so, you was around during the recording of some niggas and all of that shit when he yeah, was pushing that. Yeah. You knew that was coming to the Belly soundtrack. I didn't even know that was coming to the Belly soundtrack. I just knew when he was put. He was like, yo. I got up, he's like, yo, this joint is crazy. And he's like, I'm going to perform it at Amazora. And when he performed it at Amazora, that's when he came out. He came out with the, that's when like the, the, the lever joint, the NBA joint lever had out with all the, all the patches, you know what I'm saying? And he yeah. came out with the red one, with the, he came out with the red one, but it was crazy because all the patches had, all the patches had the blue line in them. Like the patches didn't have just like Eastern car, they all had blue lining. So when he was like, the light would hit it and he'd be like, some niggas is blood and some niggas is crip. And you would see the red, but you see the blue lining on the patches would made the word stick even crazier. You know what I mean? It was like, yeah, he crushed that joint. <laughs> right. I think um, most people agree that it was probably the best, most standout song, most memorable song on the Belly soundtrack. Yeah, because it was. Cause soon as when that beat come in, poof, like it's just, and then he just come in with some some niggas blood and some like plain and simple, like here. Yeah. Right. I like the extended version. I find it every now and then. I had it at a point in time when he do the final verse when he talk about ounces, ounces of bricks, house on the cliff, the diamonds on the wrist. <laughs> yo, it was crazy because he was like, yo, he was like, um. We was driving, we was driving one day and somebody had um it was crazy, somebody had cut us off and I always keep like I always keep CDs, like you know, certain certain CDs in the car. Like sometimes I would keep a stack of blanks and he like, Yo, why you got a stack of blanks in here? I'm like, You'll find out soon enough. Somebody cut us off. I said, Pass me a blank, you know what I mean? And I threw the blank, you know what I mean? So then when we got to the studio, we we got to the studio, he was like what he say? My, my my man dude, that was his not me, like one of his right hand mans, you know what I mean? He was like, Yeah, he said, I get dude to snatch you, cut me off. But you know, that's when he said, Cut me off, fuck a CD, I throw a computer at you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what right. I'm like that's what like but that's how we would do it. Like we would round, we would talk, and then those talks would come in would turn into lyrics, you know what I'm saying? Did he ever seem depressed to you? Nah, that's the crazy part. It was just like he never, like, not around me, it was always high energy. You know what I mean? Like, no signs of no type of being depressed, upset, not disappointed, nothing. Nah, you, and the crazy part about it is because most, like, anybody that's around me won't, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, even when, when, like, when, like, like, with LO, even with, like, like, Cole, like, whenever they around me, like, Phil Jackson used to be like, Whenever Phil Jackson to see Elo, he and he see me, he be like, "All right, I don't gotta ask you if you're all right. You got the light with you." Like he called me the light, cause like yeah. nobody, if you around me, you ain't. I'm not even gonna let you be depressed, cause I'm gonna push you. Like you know what I'm saying? Okay. So he never was that way, way around me. It was more like, like, "All right, Vague, let's go." Like, yo, what we doing? So, um, everything that's been said about. I don't know the details involved in his death. You believe it? I mean, it's, a, it's 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 so contradictory to what he spoke upon. You know what he what he spoke about in his music and shit. You know, what I mean, he often spoke of you know the black man being God and Elohim gave me the guidance and you know just having all of this insight and. That's just totally contradictory. It doesn't make sense to me. I, I consider my, I know I'm one of his biggest fans. 
it just don't it don't make sense. It it required too much strength to the person who wrote those rhymes was too knowledgeable, too strong. I ain't talking about physically strong. I don't know about that. I'm talking about intellectually strong, um, with knowledge of self and history and foresight. You know what I mean? If you listen to his music, he he's talking about things that, you know, when he gets talking about war over water, when the pandemic first happened, there was shortages of water, bottled water in stores and shit like that. People thought it was the end of the world. And I was like, you know, half a mil was rapping about all of this shit. You know what I mean? So if I find it very hard to believe, I don't know. I would never accept that. No, I can't. Or, I mean, that's me. Like, like me, like I can't ever accept that because it's like a a, a feeble mind. You know what I mean? A feeble mind is a, a fold under pressure, but a mind like that doesn't fold under any doesn't any type of pressure because a mind like that is already he already got you. He already got a, a, a he already got your mind in checkmate already. So right, you know what I mean? So for it to be like. You know what I mean? Especially when you, a person like that, that lived for, that lived for other people. You know what I'm saying? And he got, and he got a family. I can't see it. I can't see him just checking out on his family, period. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's the one thing I knew, like, he wouldn't, like, that's the one thing that really makes me, like, that, that really baffles my mind because he, like, he the type of person that be like, I gotta live to make sure Vig get to where he gotta go. So I know, you know what I mean? When you got your no. biologicals, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's why I don't, you know what I mean? That's why I don't see it, you know? Did you go to Albany with him, to the projects? Yeah, we was out there like, my first, when I shot my first EPK, when I shot my first EPK, he was like, he like, son, come through, come through the block. Like, we gonna, like, we on the block, ain't nothing. We got the we got the red bins right outside. Like what's up? What up? Like don't worry about nothing. I'm like nah, we cool. My family all through Brooklyn. You know what I mean? So I wasn't worried about nothing. But he like nah, come through here. We here. And that was cool. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't really. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't no. You know what I mean? It wasn't. It wasn't. You couldn't see like it wasn't nothing like that was being shown to where it was like. You know, like the hatred or whatever. What do you feel um, happened? with your situation. Um, I seen an a interview, I think on another platform, you spoke of being blackballed in some aspects. I don't, I'm not an artist, so I wouldn't understand what, it, what, what you mean or what it was like. I'm a content creator. And now that they have the internet and um, different streaming sites, platforms, YouTube, Vimo, um, I'm gonna be able to make it, but I want you to explain to me what's your definition of being blackballed and where did you feel it happened at? Well, I mean, it was, my definition of like blackballed is more of, it's just, it's like Mr. Butchie always told me, he said the, the, the greatest, the greatest, the greatest attribute is leverage. You know what I'm saying? If you got leverage, that's the like that's the key to doing what that's that's what makes the world go around leverage it's not money it's leverage so blackball like to me is when a person to, to have leverage you know what I mean and Steve Stout and you know I me mean? Steve Stout and Dougie Fresh the great Dougie Fresh they both told me it was like your your potential is is their potential threatens a lot of pockets you know what I'm saying you threaten the way money will be made like period you 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 younger you 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 younger you faster you 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 from here like it's not like you you from where like you from where they from like i'm you from where where the, where the kings are from so if you younger and you faster and steve stout he already seen where the world was going so he knew like this is going to become if you make it to the tv you control everything because you have the all the business is going to come to you because the kids is going to flock to you because you look like them you're not preaching to them. They like, oh, he's one of us. So, whatever you sell is gonna be the market, you know. And so, what it was was when I ain't signed with certain people, that just created like people wanted me to sign with them over Trackmasters. 
So when I didn't do that, you know, majors, huh? majors, yeah, majors. I had it was, it was mostly it was mostly all of them really all of them wanted me you know what i mean so when you at the end of the day you gotta pick one and i'm coming from like where i don't know that this industry has no morals you know what i mean i'm coming from a block to where it's like like nah they you know what i mean they gave me the they was the first ones to give me the shot so like i'm i'm here you know what i'm saying so it was like okay so that made every that 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 set it off first and then and then after a while it was like I seen it because then I'm like, okay, I got, I got A on the album. I got everybody on the album. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it was just more like, like, oh, okay. Then like I said, Esco felt like I was, I guess felt like they was trying to replace me with him. You know what I'm saying? But it was like, I was just looking at it like I'm, I'm, I'm. Replace him with you. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, like, like, I'm not here for that. I'm, I'm like. I'm playing baby brother to you. Like, I'm like, yo, here, yeah. I'm like, I'm baby brother. So my thing is more like, if if you if you speak that, then you supposed to, like, that's what I said, I don't have, like, I never had a problem with Esco. You know what I mean? Like, that's- You said that to you? That's the misconception. Like, I never have a problem with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm more- He said that to you? He said that he felt that they were trying to replace him with you? He said that to Dre. Okay. He said that to Dr. Dre, you know what I mean? And like most like the the gangsters that was around Dre, look, those are like older brothers and stuff to me. So they like, son, you out here you out here bigging somebody up that ain't really playing the same way for you, you know what I'm saying? So they like like tone that down. You know what I mean? They like, nah, tone that down. So but I was like, Oh, all right, whatever. whatever. But I don't me, I don't that shit don't move. That shit don't make me a break me. You know what I mean? Like, that's the thing where it's like, music is just something that I'm ill at. You know what I mean? But this never was, like, this never was like, oh, this is what I'm going to do. Like, this is my ticket. It never was that. I was too smart for that. Like, music was just something that I just happened to be ill at. You know what I mean? Like, I love poetry. Like, you know what I mean? When I did my poems at school, that's what my brother was like, no, 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 no. You need to be doing this. Like, but that that's what it was about. I wasn't worried about no I wasn't worried about no music. But I was just more on the thing of saying like if if I got like a, if I got a younger like if, if I got a younger guard that's that's ill but he don't know the traps of this of this industry. Right. I'm not right. Gonna, I'm not going sh I'm not gonna shun him, you know what I mean? I'ma more tell him like, yo, look, this how they gonna try and put you against me or me against you. But as long as we solid Ain't nothing, can't nothing come in between that. That right. was the only thing I had against son was that was like yo, like you supposed to, you know what I mean? Like you could have just big brothered it. Like yo, listen, son, this is the reason why I'm feeling this way. All this the way I'm moving because these, like you know, like you know how it be. Like one person probably promised him something, you know what I mean? Or or said something like, nah, you gonna be able to do this, or they gonna be on this and. But he not, you know what I mean? Like, if you're not talking, then if you're not telling me, then I don't know what the problem is. Got it. You know what I mean? So that's what it was. So, like, half was more like, so half was more like, 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 half was more like, fuck all that. Like, I don't care what, how y'all feel. That's my little brother. Nigga, fuck what y'all talking about. You know what I mean? Damn. Yeah. So okay. So these these people in these powerful places. Once you didn't. Once you chose to be loyal to the guys that you started with. Mm -hmm. People in these power, powerful places. They disrupted what further opportunities for you. Yeah, I mean, because you know, back then you needed like the radio was what was you know what I mean. You needed the radio. You know what I mean. And right. They got the. You know what I mean like. They got the radio, and then from the radio, they got they got the TV. You know what I mean? From radio, they got TV. So it was like they controlled they controlled everything. Got it. So got it. yeah, so it was more like. Was, was you strapped? Was you prepared at the time? You had radio. You had radio joints. Cause they wasn't gonna play songs like "Tough Guy" on the fucking radio. Yeah, they kind of they, but the crazy part about it was. What happened was I'm this is what I'm saying. Before that, I'm I'm writing for all of them. Before anything could come out, I'm writing for all of them. So it was like 
but I'm that's not me. Like I'm not gonna expose. Like I'm not gonna be like what I'm writing for y'all. How y'all the ones that's trying to stop me from? I mean, hold on, man. What you mean you was writing, but you can't expose them? Who you was writing for? You gotta tell us something. Nah, man. The people that's boxing you out, you, 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 man. Come on, man. Nah, it wasn't that. It, it wasn't like because I really didn't care. It was more like, okay, the checks is coming, but they not, they not. It's not blatant. Like it's not blatant. You know what I mean? It's more like they're putting it on the labels. Like, nah. Uh, Universal want to stop this, or Interscope want to stop this, or you know what I mean? They're not putting it on like. So can you can you answer this? So you you've written for for mainstream artists. Yeah, definitely, hundred percent. Still, to hit, say. Hit, hit songs that we 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 finger pop to in the club. Them Ali Vegas joints on the low. <laughs> till this day, till this day, till this day. You know what I mean? Like. Till this day, track masters, they always know who they, who the baby genius was. That was me. I gotta go look up tra track masters was all over the place back then. I'm gonna have to go look up who was who was doing the rapping and shit back then on their tracks. Since yeah. it was too, I gotta look into who was who was rapping on them joints. They was all over the place. Yeah, they was. You know what I mean? They had everything from. I mean, from they had everything from so for real to every they had it. They had everybody they was working with, and the baby genius was right there like this. There you go. Don't worry about Mace it. Mace with track masters, didn't he? Who? Mace. Yeah, Mace, track masters did stuff for everybody. Yeah, should I thought. You know what I mean? Like uh, it, it was all over the place. Not everybody. Uh, look, you know, we gonna figure it out. We gonna figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I would be looking for I would be looking for similarities to Tough Guy though, man. Like that's where you set the bar with me. Like I never per se I seen or heard any identifiable Nas traits, comparisons, borrows, <laughs> none of that. So that's what I'm saying. I don't that's know. That's why I was like, I don't. Like I'm like nah, just just let me be me. You know what I'm saying? Like, just let me, just let me run. But as soon as they said that, it was more like, I was like, yo, I'm not trying to replace you, bro. Like I don't. Is it under contract that you can't talk about people that you ghost wrote for? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean, oh, uh, so y'all when y'all write a song for somebody, part of writing it, once you get paid, you're sworn to secrecy, or you can get sued. That, it, it it all like it depends on you know what I mean it depends on who like who it is you know what I mean like if you if if you somebody that if you somebody that they don't really care like if they don't really care who like who you are like they'll be like all right whatever yeah no nah, you don't gotta write no what's the name because we'll just look at you as oh you just a writer you know what I mean but when you I'm are, saying, the right the writer get 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 the publishing though right yeah but. What I'm saying is you have writers that's like that's just writers. You know what I mean? You have writers that's yeah. just writers the way they like, okay, you just a writer. Like where a person could write, like my homegirl, she wrote a Rihanna song and she could be like, Yeah, I just wrote a Rihanna song because that's not Rihanna don't view it as competition. She just right. viewed it as just that's a writer. So I was like, Go ahead. But if you but if you got if Rihanna's writing a Beyonce that's song, sing, that's singing though. That's singing. You no. know, we can't really even though we starting it it's starting to be leaked. Like I seen a video recently where Snoop Dogg was saying that he's used ghost writers and shit like that. Not I'm not talking about the Jay Z thing. No, no. But he was just he was just like I I've used ghost writers and shit and I was appalled. I'm like, nigga, you came through here kicking over buildings. Is you crazy? Like you can't be saying that type of shit. Like listen, you be su uh, listen, you be surprised, man, on who Man, they fucking it up, man. Like I is it is the is the writing is writing is the, is being the writer more lucrative than being the actual artist? Not not now. Before it used to be. Before it used to be because the, you know what I mean, like the publishing checks and all that was 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 crazy. You know what I'm saying? But now it's more about the artist is more because it's branding now. You know what I'm saying? It's branding now. So it's not like. You know, like when I'm writing for like 
So like like one person I could always say is because you know what I mean because she's not here no more. So that that was her name is Void. But like like when I'm writing for Left Eye, you don't have to worry about like you looking at it like you're not you worried about publishing because you're gonna get a publishing and royalties off of that. You're gonna be like I'm you good. So one of those one of those raps that she spit, you wrote one of them joints. I wrote I wrote albums for her. Like she was like before she died, this her album that was coming out was gonna be stupid. Did you write that verse on Waterfalls? No, nah, I seen I didn't, it I didn't, yesterday. I'm like, oh my god! Nah, <laughs> Ooh we man! Nah. All right. Damn, that's dope. See, the females aren't hurt, held to the same standards, though. So you. No, that's why I don't. Yeah, that's why I don't. Yeah, like, I was just, you know what I mean? Like, but there's plenty more females that I can't say because they're still here. They're still living. We can't accept, uh, we can't accept none of our A list celebrity MCs or whatever, legends, whatever, highly decorated. We can't find. That there's been any ghostwriting type shit going y'all, on. Y'all gonna like, be y'all gonna be disappointed in a few years. Y'all gonna be real disappointed then. I've heard that. Y'all gonna be real disappointed in a few years when it all <laughs> I, I'm telling you now, right? In my opinion, there was a it was there was a, a period of time when Jay Z had a drop off. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that he never Cut no corners and got no fucking no 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 ghostwriter. You know people couldn't kick. When you coming out of Brooklyn and you young and shit, you 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 fresh out the streets hustling. You got all of this shit in your spirit. You can just rap about this shit and write about it for maybe an album or two. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, and then Pete, you know, I know this. I know what it's like for the consumer. The pressure of consumers being in demand, like I just went through it with this murder unit shit. Mm -hmm. They want something. The the fans ain't trying to hear that shit, period. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So um, the expectations be so high that I hope I don't find out that Jay-Z went and got in. Who the fuck could write for fucking Jay-Z? Like, who would be the guy? (laughs) <laughs> Who would be the guy? I went to a Jay Z show and um, it was terrible because he didn't really perform none of the none of the shit from when he was wearing a bulletproof vest and shit like that. No. The shit, that we, the shit that we like no. when he was in the GS and all. He he nah he performed all of the radio shit. I don't want to hear you do the fucking New York Lisa Keys and shit. I don't want to hear you do that in concert, my nigga. <laughs> Fuck. You, you you ready? You want the ready? Stop bitching, ain't you? Ready? Stop switching, ain't you? I forget. Yeah, that. Man. I this ain't you. <laughs> I was expecting that. I didn't get it, but nah. But you what, know, so, like you could always tell. Like the one tell you could always tell when somebody's has like when somebody has a writer. Like the one tell is when when like the style switches. And what I mean by that is when a person could go from when a person go from just all the way like from metaphors to then go to like punchlines and then not metaphorically but just straight punchlines or then you could always tell like okay you got a different writer i'm disappointed i mean it, this is i mean you 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 can you can hold on to it for about about five more years and five more years you're gonna be real disappointed <laughs> yeah you're gonna be real disappointed you know what i mean that's why they won't leave. That's why they won't ever leave the game because they won't leave the game because they want to be able to still have that influence to deny anything. But once, like, once they out of the game, then you're gonna start seeing everything come out. No doubt, Ali. We got 15 seconds left. You've been a great guest. We've been here an hour, man. You can give me a drop. We'll do this again sometime soon, man. This was an honor.